So you wanna learn about cocktails and how to make them. Well, in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Let's get started. Cocktails are incredibly delicious and a fantastic way for you to get drunk. But on top of that, they also have an incredibly storied history. But in this specific video, I plan on answering three key questions. The first being, what is a cocktail? The second being, where do they come from? And what a little bit about their history? And lastly, why do they matter? So what exactly is a cocktail? As defined by the Oxford Dictionary, a cocktail is an alcoholic drink made up of a spirit or spirits and other ingredients such as fruit juices, or cream. And while I think that is generally true, I don't think that definition really helps you on your path to making cocktails. Cause you can kind of just throw things together in any single which way. And sure, they might kind of taste okay, but that's not, that's not really the point. There is a method to all of the madness and I promise we're gonna get to that. But before we get into cocktail theory and recipes, I think it's important that we first go back to where cocktails came from. So to understand cocktails, it's really important to understand that they've been around for hundreds of years. And it's also important to know that the earliest spirits weren't really as refined as they are today. So the rum probably wasn't as good as what you're gonna find at the grocery store today. And the cachaça, which is another ancient spirit, probably is much better today than it ever was back in 1500 when it was invented. And so when you really only had a couple of options to get drunk, where whether it was beer or wine or these kind of rudimentary, almost raw spirits, someone needed to get kind of creative to make things palatable, make it drinkable. The original, a lot of people say that like the urban legend around why cocktails came about is that you really just needed a way to drink the stuff because it was too harsh on your palate. What most people consider to be the original cocktail is punch. The name punch actually comes from the Hindi word for five. And the reason for that is that there were five ingredients in the original punch. And those five ingredients were spirit, sweetener, citrus, spice, and a lengthener. And by lengthener, it usually was something along the lines of water or tea, uh, whatever kind of drink that was kind of basic that you could add to it to kind of lengthen out the cocktail to dilute it a little bit more to really balance the whole cocktail together. And so with those five basic ingredients, you kind of have a template for what a cocktail really is. Of course, over the years, there have been other templates of cocktails that have kind of spun off of the original punch cocktail formula or, or format, if you will. But this is kind of the most basic and easy to understand basic cocktail. And there is a theory that some bartenders uh, prescribe to and really does help to explain a lot of this. And it's actually featured in the Cocktail Codex, which is a book that we will get to later on in this series. But the idea is that there's basically only a small number of uh, root cocktails and everything else is kind of spun off of those cocktails. I do find that a little restricting because I think that you do need to have a little bit of freedom, but you do need to understand the rules first. People say you can break the rules once you understand them. And so I think it's very important to grasp these key concepts before you start experimenting a little bit too wildly. And the reason is it really teaches you the mechanics behind different spirits. It teaches you what goes well with what. It allows you to really uh, learn how to blend and combine different flavors and tastes through these classic and historic root cocktails. But we'll get to that in another video, I promise. So we've covered what a cocktail is. We've covered a little bit of the roots of where cocktails came from. And really the last question I really wanna answer is, why do cocktails matter? Well, for me, it's really kind of the same reason why homemade cookies matter. Um, <laughs> it's, it's essentially comparing you know, a fresh batch of fantastically homemade cookies that your grandma would make and like Chips Ahoy from the grocery store. Yes, Chips Ahoy, they do, you know, satisfy that craving if all you want is, you know, kind of stale chocolate chip tasting kind of things, but there's no substitute for that fresh baked, fantastic, fresh chocolate chip cookie that your grandma would make. And that to me is very similar to cocktails. Yes, you can have a crappily made margarita, but the day that you have one made with fresh lime juice, fantastic tequila, and you really taste the difference. And that to me right there is really the explanation of why cocktails matter. On top of that, everything that goes on in the cocktail and bartending world has so much heritage and history to it. These spirits have been being made for five, some of them for 500 years. Some of them date back hundreds of years and there's so much history behind it 
that I personally love that aspect to it because it's about cultural heritage. It's about what our ancestors were doing to get drunk. And I think it's a really cool way to kind of connect with people from the past by getting to experience things that are very similar to what they did. Um, so it's like, to me, it's like an ongoing conversation with our past self. Wow, well, I'm really sorry that I got this deep about getting drunk. At the core of this, we drink because we enjoy being tipsy and having a good time. But for me, it's like, if we are gonna get tipsy, if we are gonna have a good time, why not do it in the best tasting way possible? We've all had shots. We all know how much they suck. We all know how much the hangover sucks. But if you have a couple of old fashions or a couple of daiquiris, you are gonna be feeling excellent and you're gonna have a great night. And that to me is worth so much more than taking a couple of nips of Fireball before going out. And don't get me wrong, shots, there's definitely places for them, but I just wanna explain that cocktails really should have at least a spot within your selection of drinks. But there you have it, my friends. I hope this was a really cool little small introduction to the world of cocktails. If you wanna learn more about the specific things I was talking about, I'm gonna link a couple of different books down below. The first one I'm gonna link is uh, Punch by David Wondrich. This guy has written two incredible books. He is considered to be the cocktail historian. These are both must reads. They're a little dense, so do take your time with them. They really go through the history of the cocktail movement, where it started, where it came from, I highly recommend Punch as a really interesting way to understand where all of this started and imbibe as a more complete dive into uh, the history of cocktails. A couple of other books that I find fascinating, uh, Jim Meehan's Bartender's Manual. Almost anything you could want in a bartending book can be found in here. He dives a little bit into the history. He gives a little tips and tricks. Excellent book as well. And the last two that I wanna to talk to you about are the Death & Company cocktail book and the Cocktail Codex. These are actually written by the same people, um, but the Death & Company book is based on their bar in New York City called Death & Company. And this book was really the first cocktail book that I ever got and dove into head first techniques how to properly balance a cocktail, how to taste a cocktail, how to evaluate a cocktail. All of the different uh, mechanical aspects of making a cocktail can be found in the Death & Company cocktail book. And on top of all of that, there are so many, so many classic and modern classic cocktail recipes included in this book. Definitely one of the, it is a must have for anybody who is aspiring to make drinks either at home, for friends, or as a job. Highly recommend this book more than any I could possibly imagine in terms of how to bartend. And then lastly, uh, The Cocktail Codex is that book that I talked to you about before, about uh, basically their premise and their theory is that there are six root cocktails and everything else that came about came from them. So if you understand those six, you understand at least the basics of cocktail making. Another one that is highly recommended to check out. But, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.